You're watching the Trash Dash, and in this video I'm going to be showing off my uh, Dario Argento collection. And it's pretty late at night here, so i got to kind of keep it quiet, but uh, I'll show you what I got. It's 2 in the morning, let's look at this shit. I don't have all his movies, but I got a decent amount. So here we go, here's what I got. Alright, first up we got Deep Red. This is a great one. Uh, people say either Suspiria or Deep Red is his, ma is his masterpiece, and... Um, Personally, I like Deep Red a lot better than Suspiria. Neither of them are my favorite, but I do like this one a lot better than uh, Suspiria. Um, very cool. You got a lot of creepy elements. Like, look at this doll. This thing comes alive and starts chasing someone around the room. Yeah. Really cool mystery movie. Deep Red. Alright, next up we got the card player. This is one from the 2000s where... Um, Someone is playing uh, poker with the FBI, and if they lose the online poker game, then he kills someone. Um, really cool movie. Honestly, a lot of people talk shit about this, but I really like it. This is actually one of my more favorite Argento movies from um, the 2000s. Yeah. Really cool. And a really weird soundtrack on this thing, but it's, it's cool, though. <laughs> All right, next up we got Sleepless. This is another one he did in the 2000s. Pretty gory. Um, in my opinion, it goes on a little bit too long. Uh, but it is a cool one. I was looking... I, I had this one hyped up. I was really looking forward to this. So it, it was a little bit of a letdown. But uh, probably on rewatches, I'll like it more. Yeah, pretty cool one. Check this one out. This is the uh, German LFG Region Free Blu-ray. Alright, next up we got Tenebrae. Uh, probably his most mean-spirited movie. Uh, you got the killer, like, shoving book pages in someone's mouth and stuff like that. Chopping them up with an axe. Uh, this one, or Phenomena, is my favorite. But, I'm kind of leaning on this one. I've always really liked this one. And, uh, awesome soundtrack on this, too. Tenebrae. Alright, next up we got Phenomena. So, like I said, this one or this one, probably like a tie for my favorite. Uh, this one combines a murder mystery with um, his supernatural style really well. Like, I'm not a huge fan of his supernatural stuff, but this one is awesome. And uh, really cool, like, kill scenes and stuff in this. And um, Donald Pleasance is in it, too. And, uh, yeah, awesome movie. Phenomena. Alright, next up we got The Mother of Tears. This is the uh, third movie in the uh, Mother Trilogy, Suspiria, Inferno, and then this one. And I wasn't really expecting to like this so much because I'm not a huge fan of Suspiria, and I don't like Inferno that much, but this one I really loved. This is such a goofy movie, and it's super gory. It's got to be his most gory movie. And, um... Yeah, I just had a blast watching it. It reminded me of, like, Evil Dead or something. Yeah. Mother of Tears. Check this one out. And uh, Asia Argento is probably the best I've seen her in this movie. Alright, next up we got Opera. This is an awesome one. This one maybe is even a little bit more mean-spirited than uh, Tenebrae. You got the killer putting needles under this girl's eyes and making her watch... Her making her watch him as he, she as he uh, kills uh, her friends and stuff, and it takes place inside the opera. Um, a little bit confusing, like the movie's a little bit confusing, but it's an awesome one. Yeah, that that one's probably my third or fourth favorite one. All right, next up we got Do You Like Hitchcock, and this is a 2000s TV movie he made. It's pretty good. Um, he kind of like the killer takes elements of like Hitchcock films and puts them together. It's kind of like if um, if the movie Scream, like if the killer from Scream only watched Alfred Hitchcock movies, <laughs> if Ghostface was only watching Hitchcock. Yeah, this is a good one. All right, next up we got Giallo. Uh, a lot of people don't like this movie at all. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. And it's not a mystery, it's more just like a um, th 
thriller with this cop trying to stop this killer. And also, I want to say, like, people think his later work uh, from the 2000s is terrible. I think it actually is better than the stuff he did in the 90s. Like, I think the 90s was his lowest point, and then he came, kind of bounced back a little bit in the 2000s. Um, next up, we got Suspiria. Uh, I like this movie. It's just not... Like, I've never been as crazy about it as most people are. Like, most people say, like, this is, like, the top ten... Like, the best foreign horror movie ever and stuff like that. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I like uh, a lot a lot of his other stuff better from him, but... It is a good one. And, um... Awesome. Like, I see why people say that, because the colors and stuff, and, like, the cinematography and the music and everything... But the story, when it comes to the story, I'm like, what the hell is going on in this movie? So, I do like it. Uh, just not my favorite from him. Alright, next up we got Four Flies and Grey Velvet. Pretty cool murder mystery. Um, kind of lackluster on, like, the gore and violence and stuff. So, if you're kind of in the mood for, like, a uh, more violent one... Check out the stuff he did in the 80s. Uh, but it is a cool one. And the ending for this. I won't say what happens. But it's a great ending. Yeah. Four Flies and Grey Velvet. Pretty cool. And then last up. Uh, kind of a bad one to end on. But I got this uh, Blood Red Nights collection. Just a cheap DVD with uh, four movies on it. Two from him. Deep Red and The Cat of Nine Tails. Uh, I keep it for. This is my only copy of Cat of Nine Tails. Uh, which is a good one. Um, I kind of dozed off when I was watching this, so I got to rewatch it. I caught most of it. Like, I know the ending. <laughs> I know the beginning. The middle, I kind of dozed off a little bit. But, yeah, good one. Cat and Nine Tails. All right, you guys, this is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. That was my uh, Dario Argento collection. Uh, let me know your favorites from him. Let me know, um, is Suspiria your favorite, or do you like some other movies from him better? Personally, my favorite is Phenomena or Tenebrae. So let me know. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, I started. <laughs>